everyone, Gaga Joy, Gaga Joy's cooking. I'm glad you dropped in today. I'm uh, I'm doing squash. Last time I did zucchini buds, and this time I'm doing squash. And I hate to say it's a squash casserole because people go, Ugh. casserole. <laughs> so let's just go with this. It's squash side dish. That's what we're calling. And, and first of all, I have in my skillet here. I've got a half a pound of sausage. You can pick any kind of sausage you want. I happen to have some Italian sausage, and I just took it out of its um, casings and put it on here, and I'm just let it uh, cook a little bit. This is the kind of this is about the size squash. I think I told you I love this size squash. And this uh, this is interchangeable if you'd like to put a. Uh, Use zucchini, that's a good one. And uh, I, I do love that squash. I'm gonna take the other squash, I'm gonna take this off and let it be cool while we start our squash. Um, my, if I was, my favorite way to eat squash, yellow squash is just uh, boil it with a, cup, a, a little bit of onion and just butter and uh, salt and pepper on it. That's how much I do love yellow squash. But not many people share that. So this squash today is made a little different. And it actually it's good, but and also it's sort of uh, kids are more apt to eat this one. I, I think uh, kids their first thing is oh gosh squash. Uh, so I'm going I put two tablespoons of butter in my skillet. Squash it around. Let me cut my air conditioner off. I hope you're not living in the part of the country that's suffering from this terrible heat. We we live in Virginia, and a hot day to us is 87. Or uh, we have a tradition in the town that if it gets 90, they uh, they will provide lemonade, free lemonade. So, as you know, it probably don't get not too much here. There's my onions. And here's my cut up squash. Put a table a teaspoon full of salt. And a teaspoon full of pepper. And I'll just leave, make it a half a teaspoon. Fried squash. Uh, I, I, don't, I like fried tomatoes, but I don't like uh, fried squash. Um, this is going to take about ten minutes. Well, it took, it has taken exactly ten minutes for this to get to this level, which just is a little bit wilted, translucent, translucent. Now, here's the uh, odd thing about this one: it has corn in it. It's cream corn. Two cups. Uh, first of all, I've used four, about four and five inch squash. Uh, it's about five cups, so if you want to go with that, it's sort of a, you know, add as you want to kind of thing, this one is. And I only had one can of corn, cream corn, so I had to order, I uh, used just regular corn this time. Um, I think I've got, meant to get cream corn, and you get in a grocery store. I'm real good at picking up things that just wasn't really what I wanted. Uh, like I said, the children will love this. It is that good. And they may not like this. Notice the squash in it. But then, they probably will. 
My, my children never did miss anything, and neither do my children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren now. And I'll put a sausage in. And you can see that the sausage I'm using has very little grease. Now, the sausage, you can, excuse me, uh, add or you leave it out. Uh, it seems like the men prefer a little bit of meat in their stuff, but this is good without it. So, if you like, then you can use any kind. If you want some hot sausage, make it a little bit hotter, you can. It's just, you know, things like this are sort of versatile. Okay, and this is a half a cup of. Um, corn bread dressing. I just use the uh, boxed. I also had to change skillets a few minutes ago. I saw this was going to work. said it's a versatile dish you can add at this point you can add anything you want to so I'm going to add a few red peppers because I don't have kids either, so I'm, I'm going. and I'm going to actually add some jalapenos my son loves jalapenos and actually I do too so we've got jalapenos in it I've got my oven preheating to 350. And two cups of cheddar and Monterey Jack cheese. Now that's a big bowl of squash. And if you don't think your family can eat this much, you can put it in two dishes, or if you can just cut it back, you know, you can, that's easy to cut things back. When, especially when it's not baking or pastry or something like that, it's, uh, they have to be precise, but things like this don't necessarily have to be precise. Now we'll put this in a cook, uh, to a quart dish. And oh, this just can't tell you how good this smells. Now this is going to go into a 350 degree oven for about 40 minutes until it gets bubbly and brown. Okay, our casserole is ready. And of course I can't see a thing because my blouse. Look at that, how pretty that looks. Looks like it's done well. It's still bubbling. Still hot. There's not going to be a place I can have to get a bike. Without dying of burn, being burned. See, this is a big casserole. Uh, if you want to cut it back, uh, but 
You can make two of them. Freeze one. It's very freezeable. That is so good. It is, it's got a sweet taste to it. It's got that hot taste from the um, peppers, everything. And it's not mushy. The, the um, mushy, I mean the uh, squash are not mushy. Oh, gosh. That will be wonderful today. I think I'll make some cornbread to go with it. Why not? Well, it's been a hot day, and I hope you've enjoyed the uh, squash and I know a lot of people don't but I still love squash in the summertime it's just one of those things that you eat in the summertime I don't eat it in the winter but I do in the summer <laughs> quite a bit as actually so it's been a good day I hope you have a cool week and I th hope this heat soon stops for so many people subscribe hit that bell have a good week and we'll see you soon.